Hurricane Milton is expected to make landfall as a powerful and intense hurricane in Florida today, and the National Hurricane Center even warns that this could be the most destructive hurricane that West Central Florida has ever seen. So in today's video, we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about what Hurricane Milton has done overnight and exactly what this will be doing as it approaches the state of Florida. So right now, Hurricane Milton continues to remain a very strong major hurricane in the southeastern Gulf of Mexico. It is continuing to move to the northeast very quickly at about 10 to 12 miles per hour, and it will continue to move northeast before eventually turning somewhere into areas like Tampa Bay or Cape Coral upon landfall later this evening. And by the way, we are going to be live covering this on this channel today, so make sure you're subscribed down below and click the bell icon so you're notified when we do go live. But we do expect major impacts for western Florida, including storm surge, hurricane force winds, and the potential for prolif prolific rainfall that will lead to significant flooding. Hurricane Milton has already shattered records. This is the second strongest hurricane of all time to be in the Gulf of Mexico as of a little over 36 hours ago is when it hit 897 millibars of pressure. It is obviously not as strong now, but it has been obviously a very intense hurricane. And with how intense it has been, that is just going to increase the storm surge for the west coast of Florida this evening. So as we go throughout the morning hours, we are going to continue to see this as an intense hurricane as it approaches the west coast of Florida. One thing I do want to point out is that the wind field has already grown substantially. The tropical storm force winds are going to be felt across almost 500 miles from northwest to southeast. For reference, this was only 220 miles wide yesterday, so the wind field has basically doubled in size as it approaches Florida. In addition to that, hurricane force winds are also growing in size, so it just keeps getting worse, essentially, for the state of Florida. As we go later into this afternoon, it will be approaching the west coast of Florida. The worst of the winds will still be offshore, but we are going to start to see hurricane force winds across areas near Tampa and Sarasota and Bradenton as we get closer to about 6 to 7 o'clock tonight. And then as this makes landfall sometime around midnight or so tonight, this will be causing major impacts and catastrophic impacts across western Florida. And we will be feeling impacts starting as early as 2 to 3 o'clock this afternoon, including the potential for several tornadoes. And we'll be talking more about that tornado threat in just a moment. This will be a very intense hurricane, more than likely making landfall as either a very high-end Category 3 or a low-end Category 4 hurricane. And this will move right across central Florida Florida overnight Thursday and will eventually be back into the Atlantic Ocean as we go into Thursday afternoon. That will allow for a northeasterly and easterly wind to pick up on the east coast of Florida and that will promote the potential for some storm surge back over between Jacksonville and then even as far south as the West Palm Beach County line. Now let's talk more about the impacts that'll be felt out of Hurricane Milton, and we'll begin with the future radar for today. We are going to notice a ton of rainfall falling across central Florida as we go into this afternoon. This is really going to ramp up as with the eye of the hurricane gets closer to landfall this evening. The heaviest of the rainfall is expected to be between about Daytona Beach and Jacksonville, back through Tampa, and just off to the west of Sarasota, and the most of the rain is going to be on the northern side of the eye. Landfall will likely be near Sarasota or just north of Sarasota, near Tampa Bay. So the bulk of the rain that's heaviest will be falling right along and north of I-4. And as we go into the overnight hours, Wednesday night into Thursday morning, this rain will continue to penetrate across areas like Orlando and Daytona Beach. And then eventually as we go into Thursday afternoon, the eye moves offshore. Rain will start to move offshore with that. And we are done with this hurricane as we go into Friday, at least in terms of the impacts that will be felt. Now, in terms of rainfall accumulation, we are going to see a lot of rain, especially in this area from Tampa back through Daytona Beach, with most areas seeing between 8 to 12 inches of rainfall. There will also be some isolated locations that get as much as 16 inches of rainfall. Areas south of I-4 are going to be a bit more fortunate. We're not expecting as much rain down here, but anywhere from a half an inch to a few inches of rain will be possible, and that could still lead to some flooding. Another thing I want to point out, by the way, is that there is a high risk for excessive rainfall across much of central Florida today. Please turn around. Don't drown. There's going to be a lot of water on the roadways, and flooding does appear likely for several different areas. Now, in terms of the wind speeds, we are going to watch for very high winds as this makes uh, landfall and even before landfall back over in Tampa and Sarasota. We are eventually going to see those hurricane force winds exceed as high as 110 to 120 miles per hour in those areas. Winds really pick up in the yellow and brown areas as we go into the overnight hours, so most of central Florida will also feel these hurricane force wind speeds. I think these wind gusts, even Thursday, will actually be higher than this model is indicating, and this map that I'll show you in a moment will also show you that uh, in 
in correlation to what I just mentioned. Now here's what we're expecting in terms of the peak wind speeds, this graphic made by James Pettis. You'll notice that the worst of the wind will be in the purple area. That is where we're expecting category three plus winds this evening and into the early overnight hours. Anywhere in the red is where hurricane force winds are expected. Wouldn't be surprised if this actually goes a little bit further south into areas like Port St. Lucie. So keep that in mind. Definitely be prepared for that. Power outages very likely anywhere in the red or in the purple area. Orange and yellow is where we're expecting uh, tropical storm force wind gusts and wind speeds. So if you're in those areas, we could see some isolated to scatter power outages. Now, in terms of actual power outages across the state of Florida, it is very likely that we are at least going to see widespread power outages anywhere in the pink shaded area. That goes all across central Florida, western Florida, and as well as back through parts of the east coast near Cape Canaveral. And then anywhere in that dark red shaded area is where power outages still appear at least to be scattered to numerous. That means they are likely. And then anywhere in the red shaded area is where isolated power outages will be possible out of Milton. Another big thing that Hurricane Milton is going to be producing is tornadoes. We are expecting several tornadoes today, potentially even a tornado outbreak across central and southern Florida. We are going to be live covering this threat, so make sure that you are, again, subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified when we do go live. I do think that we are going to have a very long day on this channel. We're probably going to have two different live streams, one of which will be pre-landfall, and then one will actually be uh, closer to landfall tonight. But right now, we are looking at a hatched area for tornadoes, and that means that strong tornadoes are going to be a possibility, which is just to the north of Okeechobee near Fort Myers, east of Sarasota, and then anywhere in the yellow, we are still watching for the potential for several tornadoes. And then in the brown and the green areas, we are still expecting several tornadoes. So if you're anywhere across Florida today, we could see anywhere from a half a dozen, potentially even more tornadoes today. So have a tornado action plan in place, have multiple ways to receive alerts, and we'll keep you posted with the latest in terms of the tornado threat here in Florida. And the other threat with this is going to be the storm surge. It is expected to be substantial, especially across the west coast of Florida, where many areas are going to see anywhere from 10 to 15 feet of storm surge. This is life-threatening. You do not want to be along the coastline. This will also be catastrophic, and we are going to be covering this again later today with cameras on the beaches, and we're also going to have storm chasers out there that are going to be seeing this stuff in real time. It's going to be a disaster along the west coast of Florida, at least in the within proximity, again, of the beach. Back over in Charlotte Harbor, 8 to 12 feet of storm surge is expected, and then further down to the south in the Everglades, we could see anywhere from a foot to up to 8 feet of storm surge. And then the east coast of Florida, there's a wide variety of storm surge that we could see. Anywhere from 1 foot to 5 feet of storm surge is going to be possible. The greatest storm surge will be between Alta Maha Sound and the Sebastian Inlet. And also in St. John's River, we are currently anticipating 2 to 4 feet of storm surge. So again, if you are near the coastline and you are under any evacuation orders, please take them seriously. It is going to be a very long day, and uh, we are going to be covering this again here live on YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed down below. Click the bell icon so you're notified when we do go live. There's a chance we're live as early as like 11 a.m. this morning, maybe 12 o'clock, for an update here on Hurricane Milton. We also will at least be live for landfall later this afternoon and evening. So make sure that you're tuned in. We'll keep you posted with the latest.